the system by which we have organized our reality is there is the totality covered by individuation and illusion, but very real. The soul, which is the individuated consciousness, is then covered by the mind all around. An illusion, but very real. The mind is covered by the sensory perceptions. Great illusion, but very practical, working. The, all this group encased by a physical body. Now, what happens? These enclosures, we give different names because when you leave an enclosure like this, when you leave a covering like this, you open up a different world. So long as you have a physical body, the reality will appear only as a physical world. It cannot appear any other world. So long as you are aware that you are this physical body, the only real things are material things. Anything else will be imaginary. If you say, oh, I have an experience of going into the soul and I've discovered that, it's just imagination compared to the reality of the physical world. You're still taking your body to be your real self. The identification of the self with the last covering is what makes it very difficult to go anywhere except where the existing reality is working for you. If the existing reality is working only in the physical world, and this is the only world you know which is real, everything else becomes imaginary. Supposing, with the Master's grace, or with your own effort at meditation, or a combination of the two, you are able to have an experience of having an experience without the physical body. Not a dream-like experience, which we think goes below physical awareness, but into an astral experience, an experience higher and more real than the physical experience. If you go into that for a while and then get back into this reality, you will know it was more real. It will still become imaginary for you because this has become as our current reality. This is a very interesting part that at one time we have only one reality. When does this break? When does this break that you can have more than one reality at one time is only when you reach the top. <clears throat> when you reach the top and see the whole creation in that form, you can sustain that experience at all levels and know every reality existing at that time and how it's being created. Before that, you can only have one reality at one time. And, and who has that knowledge and, and experience of realities right up to the totality of consciousness, only these perfect living masters. They come having reached that state. Therefore, when they come and guide us, and they come and give us instructions and guidance, they are talking to us at every level of reality. And they can identify us at different realities which we may not be aware of, that we are real at somewhere else also, at some level of our own reality. That is why their words of conversation sometimes for us may not translate into exactly the kind of language we speak here, but there's something hidden, some hidden meaning in what they say to us. The most important factor is when they tell us during initiation into the path, in which case they take responsibility for our journey back home. Initiation is a very big thing by a perfect living master. When you get that experience, of initiation by a perfect living master, they may give you a few words to repeat and associate those words with inner experiences of different levels of reality. For you, they are just words because you are just here in the physical world. When you go into own experiences later on, you discover those words were meant to represent different experiences in you. This is one example of how some, uh, some of their conversation can be very subtle for us. And they can talk from different realities. But so long as we have only one reality projected from our own consciousness, we have to work within that reality. If we are in the material world, in the physical level of consciousness, we cannot have any idea of what the other levels are. Like in the dream world, when we are sleeping and dreaming, we have no idea at that time what wakefulness is, although many of the events are very similar. 
But the laws controlling the movement of events, events in a dream are different. 